Hello, my name is Omar Rampasad. It's February 13, 2019, Wednesday, 2.17 p.m. in Toronto. So I've been pulsed with uh, microwaves all day today and last night. So I'm going to give you a sample of how the high the power is turned up, which is reflected in my blood pressure fluctuating up and down. Huge fluctuations. 30 point fluctuations up and down plus, plus 30 points, I should say, or 30 points and more. So um, the power has been turned up. That's my hand tagged. My chest is tagged. That's the air, the face, and around the air and the temple, the power turned up. Uh, it increases blood pressure very quickly. So I'm going to take the blood pressure right now, and I'm going to show you the blood pressure after the state. I just got a, a huge pulse um, of burning sensations on my chest and my back. So my heart is tagged or else uh, um, my heart rate and blood pressure wouldn't be so, um, so erratic, such wide fluctuation so quickly. So um, it's reflecting my being tracked with microwaves. So right now it's 124 over 83. So I'm going to take the pressure again at the end of this video. And the left side around the kidney area is um, is tagged all the time. And the power has decreased a bit because the pain level has decreased. And this is my obliques, stomach area. Now this is exactly what I felt in workplaces in the past and I got sick. Of course. See the level of power it goes right up to about 14, 1500 and goes to zero in seconds. It has to be pulsed or else you're gonna burn. You're gonna be microwave basically, cooked. So it has to be pulsed. That's the breast.
so it's been five minutes and I'm getting pain on my side and on the back And it's 127 over 85. And the heart rate and that's in five minutes. It's 79 and uh, it just switched my screen here because it's touch sensitive let me do that again So I'm going to take my pressure one more time. So I can feel a heaviness in my chest, um, slightly asthmatic because my chest is tagged and my back is tagged so the lungs is being affected and the heart is being affected. So right along the, uh, the breast, the side of the breast, and uh, right above the kidney area is, uh, <coughs> is tagged. So that's, uh, it's affecting your heart and it's affecting the, um, the lungs as well. So you will get asthmatic, makes sense, which is exactly the way I feel. So the erratic heart rate and the erratic blood pressure is being caused by being tracked and tortured with microwave technology, as I'm proving right now. And it's 127 over 85. So it remained high, it didn't drop, and that's high for me in a sitting position. So just one more time, and demonstrate this. And um, the spot in the back, on the back is getting really sore. And you could see, the uh, power is turned up on that spot. So a part of your body has to be tagged to track you. Other parts are tagged to torture you, to cause pain. So right in that spot there, right above the kidney area, is tracked, is a tagged, and being pulsed repeatedly on the breast. So the power is turned off on the breast. So 
So it's going on 10 minutes. So I'm going to take the pressure one more time. And sure enough, it went up 133 over 89 because the pressure was turned up on the side, on the obliques and on the breast. And I was getting asthmatic. Makes absolute sense. So this is consistent findings um, from the time I started doing this, from the time I got this, um, which was, I believe, a couple of weeks. It's going on a couple of weeks. So. I tweeted a few tweets today, R-O-S-H-I-N-I-911, -I -I those were my tweets. Um, I tweeted um, the fluctuations in the heart rate and uh, in the blood pressure. Uh, that was in sync with my being tortured, basically. Every time I got hit, the blood pressure increased. And uh, the degree of increase was uh, related to the power with which I was hit. So a point I wanted to make before I close off this video is... Um, how the doctors uh, take part in experimentation. And I'm just gonna relate to you a little bit of the uh, history, my history, about um, going to the doctor and listening to what they're saying when I tell them how I feel and how they explain the results of, the, of uh, wearing a heart monitor. Um, I went and uh, I got an ultrasound in my early 30s and I was told that um, I had uh, a regurgitation issue and uh, this is not something um, it, that I couldn't live with I could live with it but it was an issue so um, I understood that and I we discussed it uh, uh, my doctor and I discussed it and um, uh, one of the things that needed to be done when you have that condition is to take antibiotics if you had any surgery and I had minor surgery and I was given antibiotics by the surgeon uh, so it was understood that I had a problem. Then uh, in my 50s, I was diagnosed with uh, mild age-related um, valve, uh, a slight valve issue. So combine the two, if, I have, if you have two defective valves, mild or not, if you put the two together, then it becomes, it could become a major issue if it's not taken, uh, if you don't take proper care of yourself. So, um, I was told this by one doctor. Then I went to, a, to another cardiologist to get a second opinion, and he said to me, you don't have a valve issue. And I said to him, well, I was diagnosed with it, you know, in my 30s. And he said, then I realized it was the same doctor who diagnosed it. So uh, here, uh, you know, uh, f quite a few years later, he tells me I don't have a valve issue. Now, I'm not sure whether it was um, his interpretation of the results, uh, that the issues are so mild that in his mind it was not an issue. It could be that. But to a patient, uh, especially um, to me, I want to know whether, it's, whether it is an issue or whether it's something that I could ignore or whether it's something I, could, I should take into consideration in living my life. It's something I need to be aware of and to take care of. This was not discussed. I kept saying, I kept hearing, it is an issue, it's not an issue. Two cardiologists, um, their opinions, while they seem to be saying the same thing, they were actually saying different things if it was interpreted differently. They seem to be talking in the gray where it could be interpreted either way. So this is frustrating for me. Um, it, it, I mean, I know I have a heart condition because I know how it, the way I feel and this is proving that um, what I feel is true. It's not in my head. It's based on what, what is actually happening in my body. Um, so my, my issue with uh, my doctors is not making, it, making clear exactly what the issues are. And even if they think that the conditions I have is not serious enough to make it an issue to discuss with me, I think, in my opinion, it should be discussed 
because even though there are mild issues in a, in a surgeon's and a cardiologist's mind, um, it could be a major issue in doing um, certain activities in the patient, the patient's life. Uh, so, uh, you know, if, if it is an issue, it should be discussed as one and, uh, and, and uh, a little bit more in a little bit more detail with a little bit more um, with a little bit more uh, concern for the patient rather than, um, in my opinion, covering themselves to cover their practice, to cover their reputation, to cover um, whatever they need to cover for insurance purposes. And I think this is one of the reasons why doctors don't always say everything. So I just wanted to make that point. So talk to you another time. And hopefully there will be another time. Because judging from what I'm seeing here, um, every time I get hit with a microwave or a laser-like attack, I could be dead. I could be in the hospital. You may not see me another time.